My dear, you and I have successfully completed the first two steps. Today begins the third step of our challenge. What do you think it is? It is friendliness. I am sure a lot of bright images of the people whom you thanked emerged in your head when you were writing the words of gratitude during our first step. And now it's time to share the joy that you have awakened during the second step. Share it at this difficult time. Tell your loved ones how grateful you are, support them, and show the friendliness of your heart. Perhaps at the moment when you call, a person feels upset. Or, maybe you are envisioning some people right now. There is a reason for this. Their image appeared because their souls ask for help. They might not confess that they need help, that they are going through a very difficult moment. They might be finding courage, trying to stay strong. But their souls are asking for help. This is why you should call, text, and give support in the first place to those people whose images have appeared before your eyes. You could send them a funny picture or an image of places of power. Perhaps you can share an article from my website with this person. There are a lot of spiritual messages and spiritual advice for people on my website. Or maybe you will recommend this soul to study in my online school. Or you may recommend them to attend my master classes and seminars. You know, this soul is in great need of help. As a woman of power, you should give others a helping hand. One day one of my students said to me, you know, I can always see the image of my former girlfriend before my eyes. We were once very close, but then she betrayed me. She did something I have been unable to forgive for 10 years. But I envision her all the time. Then, I set my mind on this girl and said, please, call her. Her soul is suffering a lot now. It is very tormented. First of all, from the feeling of guilt for what she did. And second, because I can see the spirit of oncology in her aura now. And she is left all alone, she has no one to help her. And my student, who has a huge heart, as well as each of you who are watching this video now, called her friend having overcome her pride, her reluctance to communicate, her resentment. When her girlfriend picked up the phone, she said, My God, I have been waiting for your call so long. How many years I waited for you to call me because I was afraid to call you first. Thank you. Indeed, my student found out that her friend was diagnosed with breast cancer. She said to her friend, come on, I know where you can get help. She brought her to me. We had seven healing sessions. Now, three years have passed since that moment. The woman managed to keep her breasts. She was cured of cancer. She is now one of my students. She is the organizer of our shamanic seminars and meetings in her city. My dear, you can never know what happens in the soul of another person. Do not evaluate. If you have an urge, just call or text this person. Do not expect them to praise you or thank you for that. Perhaps, it will never come. But your heart and your soul will be calm and your conscience will be clear. You can choose people from your list of thanks. You can choose from those who have appeared before your inner eye. Perhaps you will find an email in your mailbox or a message from someone. Reply to it. Reply to it in a state of friendliness, support, and inspiration. My dear, I know that sometimes it is very difficult. But I remind you that there are special assistant spirits for this. Take your favorite amulet in your hands. Put it to your heart. 
I want to take this spirit today. Assistant spirit that gathers all the good spirits in this magical net. Put it to your heart and say, My heart, become filled with love. My heart, transfer the energy of my love to the person I want to support. Call, text or talk to someone only in this state of readiness to help the person to pass on your friendly support. The Spirit will give you a very strong state of love that every person around you will feel it. And miracles will surely happen in their life. So, my dear, let's proceed with the third magical step. And wait for the fourth step from me. See you later. It is important not only to study but also to practice the acquired knowledge in a circle of like-minded people. We invite you to join the company of loving, open, and happy people in our classes and seminars.